What up bros and hoes, peeps and creeps, this is Bodala. I am here to explain yet another phenomena of video games. This one is on The Merchant. Now if you've ever played Resident Evil 4, you have gone through hell and back, and I congratulate you. You have also gone through one of the best Resident Evils, if not the best Resident Evil of the series, and for that, you are lucky. Um, now, if you've ever played this game, you remember The Merchant. The merchant who's traveling with you wherever you go. The one that always says, Oh, what are you buying? The one that says, Oh, I'll fetch it for a high price. Uh, that guy. The guy who is crazy and um, always there. He's always there. He's always there for you. You always have the ability to sell and buy from him, which you always gotta buy ammunition, because ammunition is almost impossible to come by in that game. Um, especially Magnum ammunition. I don't know if you if you remember that, but your Magnum bullets were your precious bullets. They killed bosses for you. That was what they did. So anyways, that was the merchant there, and he would always appear in the midst of zombie hordes whenever you got to a checkpoint. He would always be there. Now, I believe that this also is a situation of a being that is more or less than, but definitely not, human. So, I believe that there's a huge phenomenon on that. Now, if you ever go to any other video games, um, there are also certain things like in Dark Souls, there are random people who are posted outside, you always have to fight a bunch of monsters to get to them. How in the world do they survive? I don't know. There's another merchant in a Mass... not Mass Effect, in a Dragon Age. I think he's in the second one. He talks about enchantment a lot. Uh, there's this, there's this part where you, uh, you go into this room. And there are all these dead bodies, and he's just there. You, you talk to him, and you're like, "How in the hell did what what happened?" And he's like, "Enchantment!" Like he always says, it's the funniest thing ever because you know he killed all of them. Um, so how in the world do these people, these these merchants, these unsung heroes get to where they are. I don't know. It's a phenomenon. It's a mystery of video games. Um, I'm going to give you some more examples that I'm trying to improv and think of off the top of my head. Let's see. Um, I can't think of that many. However, <laughs> however, they exist for sure. Uh, and they exist everywhere for some odd, mysterious reason. Um, you know, let's think about some. Um, in, uh, in Deus Ex, Human Revolution, a game that I am playing currently, there are people who are just randomly posted outside in places who just sell guns and everything. They're like black market dealers. But how in the world have they not been found out? Or are they tipping off the cops? I found one that was right next to a bunch of police officers, and the police officers didn't seem to care. And they were always scared of the cops. I remember one of them kept saying, Hey, tell all your friends, just not the cops. And he was this cool, like, New vegas kind of guy. And speaking of which, Fallout. Fallout, there are always those traveling merchants, and I don't know how in the hell they survive. I remember one of the glitches I ran into was one of them ran into a death claw. I kept having to reload because I wanted to use that merchant, but that death claw kept ripping him to shreds. Um, so I don't know how in the world these these merchants survive, but they do, and I'm thankful for it because I got a lot of stuff to sell, and I can't carry all of this stuff. And I'm sure as heck not gonna drop it. That's a waste. I was top better than that. So yeah, uh, that's me on the phenomena of the merchant of the video game. This is Bodala signing out.